we're going to make use of two apps. The first one is WhatsApp, while the second one is Auto Reply. Now, we recommend you use GB WhatsApp or you use uh, WhatsApp Business. Okay, now here we go. Now, if you want to install Auto Reply, go to Play Store and search for Auto Reply. You can see the first app, you can see the icon. Don't make mistake. That is the first app you install. After you've installed it, now we move on to WhatsApp. This is my GB WhatsApp. Make sure you everything is okay like this. Okay. Now minimize. The first settings is to go to auto reply. After that, you click on this plus sign at the uh, at the bottom plus. Now choose WhatsApp you want to use. I'm using WhatsApp gb so if we are if you are using whatsapp business you choose it but i'm using whatsapp gb this is it okay now scroll down now all exact match click on all scroll down now you can see connect to own server so you check on it in this place now you check i want check so you can see it here so you just click on that box you can see the box in front of connect to own server so you click on that box so you click on it and it will bring out this box now what you need to do now is just to type this https don't make mistake in the url samura bot.com do not make mistake if you make mistake to not work at all vtu slash sorry that vtu must be in small letter slash api dot now api dot php that's it now on that key you can see you put manager id do not make mistake on that value you put your manager id there your manager id you put it here let me put one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay now scroll down make sure you use your correct manager id that's there is nothing again than to click on save that mark so click on this box and that mark icon now it's saved let me this is my whatsapp gba i'm going to my whatsapp not my whatsapp now and i will message this account in this whatsapp GBA. here we go now this is my whatsapp gb okay this is my normal whatsapp so let me just add it now you can just anything you like now unexpected error occurred in configuration because the manager id i used is incorrect let me use the correct manager id now now key you know key here is this you can see key copy it back here paste it here now we have value go back to this place this is the value which is the manager id paste here after you've done that scroll down that is all click on this mark after you've done that you can see everything is saved good okay this is the number so let me just type i to get started you know the phone is on your second phone okay this pop-up don't mind this pop-up if it's on your second phone you don't see any pop-up like this okay now you can see hello welcome to my first it dictates the name of your bot why because of the correct configuration you did here because of this manager id let me just change this thing to you know this id now let me just let us assume we don't have correct id let me just put rubbish here okay now let's just go back here and type i again type i now you can see unexpected error occurred in configuration so that is it now let me go back to this place because we provided wrong manager id so let me provide correct manager id now see it is saved now let me type i again good now welcome type anything to get started let me put i anything then just type i now can you provide your email address to log into your account and let me put my email address demo first at gmail.com
Now I detect that I have not created account before. That is why it said it is telling me to provide my full name. Let me just put demo. Now the password you want to use, let's just use zero just for demo. All right, now do your transaction pin. Let us use one, two, three, four for demo. Now, like I see everything is created successfully. Let me type menu to get started. Correct. Now you can see buy time, buy data, PTV subscription. So everything is done. This is your customer aspect. You know, you already have your own manager, which I've already shown you. And then you have your web version of the manager, which I already shown you. Okay, so in this page, it's just for customer. Let me just perform sample here. You can see, choose MTN. Now, what's the receipt? No, I don't have money here. I don't have money on this wallet. Okay, but if you want to fund your customer's wallet, you will fund it. Okay, now let's go back to the web version. This is the web. Okay, if you want to check your uh, WhatsApp manager's bot, so you go back to the WhatsApp that you use to create the bot. Okay, now in case you want to find your customer's wallet, you watch the tutorial on this channel about customers. So you click on customer list, you see a lot of things you can perform on those customers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos.